have the milkshake on his head. Let's do a story everybody knows, okay? So you have Pharaoh who won't let the Jews go, right? Right? And he's just being an asshole. And all the Egyptian adults are assholes too, because they keep slaves. Because people who keep slaves are kind of assholes, right? Right? We agree on that, right? Yeah. Right? So, instead of killing all the slave owners, what does God do? He kills all of their children. No, he, he used Moses to deliver them. That's what he did. No. He used a godly person to what deliver was the 10th plague? Oh, that's garbage. The 10th plague. All the firstborn of Egypt died. All the babies and the children who never owned slaves oh, no. and never did anything exactly. wrong. And I said punished. that earlier. In the, the Old Testament, God destroyed. And he was still just. He's still just no matter what happens. If you're under the law. That's hilarious. Who gave really God funny. the right to this make guy, he has the a belt law? On his head. You're not God! I know I'm not, but who chose God to be God? Either you. Oh, it was in existence me. forever. So that gives him the right true. to give people free will and <laughs> No, that gives him the right to have mercy on someone like you who's rejected it. Relationship with them, and you want to make arguments, your God, your stability, that's where you're wrong. Okay, okay. And he will destroy you. You want to do New Testament justice? Let's do New Testament justice. Here we go. Here we go. New Testament justice. Let's say I'm on trial for murder. Okay? He finally got me riled up enough that I went crazy. And killed him. Right? And and everything, I mean, I went fucking ballistic. Right? And I'm on trial for murder. And I everybody's seen me, there's film, it's all there. It is positive that I did it and I pled not guilty. I said, no, I didn't do it. Right? And I had in the trial. And the Why judge convicts me. Hold on. And the judge convicts me of a crime, and I'm going to the electric chair. Right? And I'm sitting in the electric chair, and just before they pull the switch, some dude runs up that I don't even know and says, hey, 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 whoa, 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 don't kill him. I'll get in the chair. It's cool, it's cool. I'll get in the chair. You can go. It's cool. And that perfectly innocent guy who just jumps in the chair for me, and I just get to go off and keep killing people like I felt like doing, right? Now that's justice. Because that's what Jesus did according to you. What you're saying. What you're saying with this whole Jesus dying for my sins thing is I can do whatever the fuck I want because I will never have to No, pay I say if you I take did. advantage of God's grace and God's mercy, mercy you're you're a vessel fit for destruction and God's going to destroy you and throw your throw you into hell on judgment day. If you reject God's love and his mercy, you dug your own hole, sinner. That's your issue. Your issue is with God. Let me let me let me put it to you. Another you don't way. want to be susceptible let's, let's, to God's love and His mercy. How is it God's love? And it mercy? is. You don't understand let's, it. Let's put it you this can't way. fathom the mind can of you God. You believe Jesus is God. Absolutely. Okay. Now, can God die? You don't believe God. Can God cease to exist? His son can die. Yes. But you just said His son is God. Same. Same deal. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So here's what I'm saying. It's called the Trinity. Here's what I'm saying metaphorically. What Christians call the Trinity. God is sitting up in heaven about 2,000 years ago. Let's say 2,035 years ago. What about? And God says, hey, you know that sin thing I created right when he's going to hell? That's not really working out. God, I wish there was a way me as God could get rid of sin. I mean, I could just say being God, I forgive you. I really wish there was. I wish. I do sincerely. If I, if I saw something, I believe it in two seconds. I can come down as a human being, hang out for 30 years, not really do anything of importance, right? Start talking when I'm like 30, get a bunch of people to listen to me, allow some people to kill me because I'm supposedly God, and that doesn't matter. I mean, you could stab God with a spear, what the fuck? Is it gonna do? You're a you mocker. Can nail to a you're tree. a wicked mocker. Let me That's finish. why you're going to hell. Let me sinner. finish. You're a wicked mocker. Let me finish. That's what you are. Then I'm gonna lay in the you're ground. Mocking God. Days. You're in serious trouble. God. Rise up it. to heaven. You need to take Anybody who does not believe. No thanks. Anybody who does not believe in this event that happened in a small town in the desert 2,000 years ago goes to hell. What about the what about a Japanese guy? Follow me. What about a Japanese guy oh, that died the second after Jesus rose? Yeah. The second after Jesus rose from the graves and never heard the life of Jesus. What about that guy? He's fucked. He never heard the thing You're of not. Jesus. You're not. He though. never got a chance. You're not. How is that the love of God? How is that? What, what about the God, Japanese God's guy? God's love is all merciful. He's all knowing. He wants all to repent. But again, if you reject God's love and His mercy, mercy, you're going to hell. He's not all. He's not no, 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 there was, a, there was a man in the Bible that was in a cave that was demon-possessed, hitting his head against rocks. And he said, where is this God? I don't believe in him. And God had so much love through Jesus Christ that he sent his son in there to say, listen, I can cast these demons out of you. I can get this just, just destroying garbage in. Let me finish. Let me finish. You just want to run the whole time. And so we, you know, this is how we debate. Uh, and then all of a sudden he cast the demons out of the guy who was tormented and demon-possessed. 
and the guy was free. He, he, he threw him into a bunch of swine that went and killed themselves, and it was over and the guy was free. You have to want to be free. But if you don't want to be free from the things that keep you bound, you're fit for destruction. You're going to be destroyed by okay. God. Let's, 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 get, let's counteract your argument. No, about, I already said the thing about the no, no, aborigine no, no, in the middle no, no, of the jungles no, no, never heard no, no, of Jesus no, 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 and all that. No, 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 no. That's what no, he was saying. No, that's, that's, that's not where I'm going. That's not where I'm going. Yeah, but John. Okay? All right? Okay. Let's, let's look at your story of Jesus healing the mentally ill man and killing some pigs. Now, why couldn't God just come down himself? Why can't God just because come God down himself? Because God again. He's you don't God. want to hear about this mercy and love and grace thing. Why doesn't God himself you don't tell believe you? It. You don't believe in God's love. If you, yes, I do. No, you don't. How can I not? You know, why he, sent, you know why he love. sent Jesus down? Yeah. Because he loves humanity. He got tired of, of destroying out people who were wicked. He got tired but of Sodom and Gomorrah. But it's a really bad plan. No. It I got a better a... plan for God. If God no, is no, God, listen, and what? You die, when you die, hey, it's God. over. Hey, it's my turn. Now, here's my better plan for God if God wants everybody to believe in God and go to heaven. Here's my better plan. Show up. Walk around. Say, hey, everybody, what's up? I'm God. Check out all this cool shit that I can do. Now, 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 I know I'm God, and I know you think I'm kind and caring, but I made this really nasty place for the people who don't do what I say. Now, I don't care if you can make logical arguments against what I say and all the rules and stuff, and you want to have a democracy and not have a dictatorship where I just say whatever I feel like is illegal. No, 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 no. If you don't believe what I do, you go into this place, and here you can see it. You can see hell, but if you do, you get to go to this fucking great mall in the sky, and it's going to be rad. You're going to be able to hang out. There's water parks and shit. I'm telling you, more people would believe in God. <laughs> if God Rather than have, if God was I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Rather than have some event 2,000 years ago in a small town in the desert that nobody can really prove was there. There's actually a really good argument that Jesus didn't even exist. There, there is. There's some really good arguments against that. Now, right? Rather than having that happen, right, and then having that book translated, right, a thousand whatever times, and have hundreds of different versions and different denominations. You're not, you're not staying on stuff. topic. You're losing I am all staying on not. topic. You're talking you're about all God's God's no, 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 no. Here it is. This is God's plan. God's plan is to have you come out here with a son. According to you, God's plan to save people is to come out and have you come out here with a hateful sign and say, hey, everybody. This is what God hates, but I love you. No, dude, that's not God. That doesn't even make sense. What is an all powerful God? Why does he need you to do his job? Why does he need you to do his job? He's an all powerful God. If he's an all powerful God and he's all knowing, guess what? He doesn't take pointers from somebody who's a heathen dog like you. That is a great uh, counter argument, a personal attack. That is excellent. Yes. Because that makes sense. You just totally disproved everything I said. Good job. Hey, Brad Hall. Now, you're here telling me how I'm supposed to present the gospel to people who are lost. That makes absolutely no sense. Why do you need to do it? If God wants these people to go to heaven, right? I'm pretty sure okay, I'm he's going to get them to heaven. You're right. I'm not so spiritual to think that there was a bunch of frogs sitting around on lily pads one night thinking, oh, we could write this Bible. This God is going to use man. Of course God uses man. Well, when did the of course God uses man. frogs come in on that? God doesn't use man? Evolution, man. No, no, no. You're saying God doesn't need people. God doesn't need people. I'm just saying, God doesn't according to your theology, you God, you worship a book. Okay, according no. to your theology, God uses people according to your theology. Of course. Yes. Yeah. God uses them, right, to show examples of sin. If God didn't want Sodom and Gomorrah to be evil and dark and have all their orgies, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't no, let them go. No, God out. gives you a choice yeah, to serve him or not. I yield the floor. Look at her. Are you going to look at her? Oh, no, I know what she, where, where she's going. Go ahead. No, you don't. That's right. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, Rick, that is not cool. Ask me your question. Yes, just say, say your question again. I was here the other day and I'm a Christian. I heard him preaching. I want to know, is it true? I heard that you were cussing and swearing. Is that true? Hey, did you hear me cussing? He was cussing, cussing and swearing. Yeah. You were cussing and swearing. You're a liar. 
Swearing is relevant. No, no, answer the question. I am, I am answering your answer question. question. Okay. Swearing is relevant. When you tell me that I'm demon possessed and that I'm going to well, that's hell. That's cursing, then I curse. Yes. That is cursing. Yeah. Yeah. That is the definition of cursing. No, that's not the definition of cursing. Oh, you just said you were. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, yeah. Somebody get us a dictionary. Oh, he's already told me God is damning me to hell. That's not the word. He didn't say the F word. Yes, he did. I remember we yelled like he was like, get the fuck out of my face. You're a liar. Hold on, yeah, hold on. No, no, I do remember that. You said don't fucking touch me. Yes. 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 Oh, shit. And the same people. That were the majority <laughs> crucified Jesus. It, the majority's always right. You're right. The majority voted for Sam Adams. I mean, come on. Look, look. What's the point of the cursing? Go ahead. What's the point of the cursing? My point is, I just want to know because the Bible says, don't take the Lord's name in vain. It says, don't. I didn't say the Bible. I didn't cuss. I'm all right. But also, you just need to know, like, the other day when I saw you, I felt like something was missing, and I feel like it's love. I don't, I mean, I don't know you personally. I've been very loving. I've had all kinds of stuff poured on me. They stole, they stole my banner. I'm doing my very best. When most Christians have never faced adversity like I have, they hide in their churches. That's what most Christians do. Where's the banner? The scripture says you're hated. But the scripture also says, love your neighbor as yourself. Of course, that's right here. Okay? And it says that, you know, if I speak with tongues and angels and men, if I if I have every spiritual gift, if, if I, I get a parking people, ticket right now because I'm late, go ahead. If I heal people, if I have every spiritual gift and every spiritual knowledge from God, but have not love, I am as sounding I know, brass. I, know. I have I nothing. Sign yet. It's useless. Thank you. Go ahead. There is nothing. Go ahead. Do you want to talk for you? You're totally just well, missing. Yeah, yeah, don't dismiss what she said. I know what she said. I'm saying it's times. pointless. Your efforts are pointless. Okay. Okay. No. Thank you. There is way more interest in what she has. I'm going to do what you have to do. I love the way you talk. What's that love? How is that love? Okay, okay, okay. When you just ignore somebody who has a perfectly relevant Yeah, that's not cool. Thank you for saying that. Thank you very much. Good shit. I'll catch you later. Peace. Now, do you want to talk persecution? I'd rather really talk about the love of Christ. It's more important to talk about the love of Christ. I didn't right. cuss the whole time I've been here. I haven't cussed the Christ in the Bible? I don't say that after. You don't know what you said before. Even if you don't cuss directly at this guy, you go go in there. This time, I'll say That's not cussing. If you watch him, talk about Muslims, he's going to get you, huh? No, 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 no. When I preach, I'm very loud. I'm very confrontational because I'm interested in everybody hearing the message. Why I'm here, for the most part, I'm trying to be very rash. We're not interested in hearing your message. Indirectly, I'm like, this guy is good. Look at him Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Okay, I have not so don't really cost anybody. Go ahead. Uh, fuck you. You want to talk person? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> you, you being persecuted? You agree with me. Right? Let's, so let's talk about Darfur. Now you're sounding out of here. Darfur, man. The people in Darfur have no idea what they're trying to do. Right? They get way more persecuted. I love you, Grant. Beautiful human being. You're a quitter. And you have no sign. Hey! <laughs> don't need the sign if it's got kind of wrong. Hey! Remember! Look, look for Tyler Durden! But don't talk about it. Fuck yeah! Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll be right soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Rational stuff defeats bigotry wherever you find it. It totally does. Oh, rational humor. You, sir. When a, when a solid punch to the noggin will just, you know? Yes. So I, really, I saw this uh, guy like, trying to get the crowd to chant at the end of the day. I saw the milkshake. Uh, what happened? Uh, he was just preaching about Jesus, and someone walked up behind him and dumped a milkshake on his head. Obviously, somebody does, does not believe in Jesus. <laughs> so, oh, what happened with the banner? 
Uh, I didn't actually see it happen, but I know that the guy's dad carried it from this area to over here, and then I saw someone bolt off with a banner. The banner was no longer visible. So, yeah. It's gone, man, it's gone. My favorite part was when some guy came up, There's fucking no button heads question. with the guy, and then everyone was just like, get the fuck out, and the whole crowd just chanted, get the fuck out, we're all charging mafia and shit, he drops his sign, he's like, don't fucking touch me, man, like, it was, it was good shit, then finally, fucking, he took down the sign, the, the, his dad took down the sign, someone fucking jacked his sign and booked it, dude, it's fucking great, well, wait, were you here for the milkshake thing? I, I, was, I was here, I was here right what, after, what happened with that? Um, some, some, Younger guy walked up, just kind of looked in his face, threw it in his face, and walked off. It wasn't. Did he say anything while he's doing it? No, he just did it. Just walked it, dumped it on his head, and just walked off. Like, dude, no big there's deal. no we'll word. You don't need to say anything about that, dude. He's yeah. got the sign that shows it. Yeah, he did that, and some lady was throwing water on him at the same time. Um, he kept tossing water at him. I was about to yell, Somebody get this man some shampoo! <laughs> Everyone was like, Someone get this man a blowjob or something. I say, if you take advantage of God's grace and God's mercy, mercy, you're you're a vessel fit for destruction, and God's gonna destroy you and throw your throw you into hell on judgment day. If you reject God's love and his mercy, you dud your own whole sinner.